Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. Look at this. Look at this. Nature. I'm on my morning walk right now, and I was just like, yo, it's kind of nice right now. Let me show the vlog. I look like I'm about to pull up on some squirrels and steal some nuts or something. Like, I'm about to hit a lick on them. But it's cold out here. It's cold, so let me get my pass. I'm just getting my mind right. It's always good to just reset in the morning. You know, just start off. Nice little walk. Think about what you got to do for the day. How are you going to do it? And then when you get back, you put that plan into action. But I just wanted to show you guys real quick. Nice little nature vibe for you. I've been really in this like content creation mood lately. I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but on the main channel, I've been dedicating a lot more time to creating the videos. On the vlog channel, I've just been vlogging here and there, but a lot more frequently than I usually do. So for the vlogs, what I'm gonna do is, whenever you guys comment something on a video, I'm gonna feature you guys. So the two people that always show love on the videos, they never miss one, is Rome and the homie Tua. I think that's how you pronounce your name. I'm sorry if I butchered it. But shout out to those homies. I literally see them all the time. And I know there's a lot of other people that comment a lot as well. So if you guys want to be featured in the next video, make sure you comment something down below. You could comment anything, bro. Why you like the videos, why you don't like the videos, why you love David, why you love me, anything. That was awk. I didn't know there was somebody behind me. My bad, bro. When I first started vlogging, not a lot of people were doing it. So when I was out in public, I just, I looked like super crazy, but now, a lot of people vlog with their phones or a lot of people TikTok and all that. So it looks a little bit more normal, but trust me, it is still weird. So for today's video, we are going to be installing these kickers that I just picked up. So if you guys didn't know, Kicker makes a down facing sub option now. Back in the day when I used to have subs in the IS250, it used to take up the entire trunk. So I didn't want that to happen for this one right here, but I do want to upgrade, you know, the subs. So I figured this would be the perfect option. So I was just doing some research online, found these, and I think that this is the perfect system for this car. So this is basically what it looks like right here. It's just one 12 inch sub. And then this one isn't really a sub. It just diffuses the sound. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm just going to explain it like that. So that's basically it. All you need is an amp. And then this system wasn't even that much. I think it was maybe 280 on Amazon. So I'll have it linked down below, but I'm gonna go over to my uncle's shop so we could go ahead and get this installed. I'm just gonna drop off the car so they could just take their time on it. If you guys know me, I play music all the time. So I'm excited to finally get some decent bass in a car because it's been a minute since I've had a system. This one shouldn't be anything too crazy, but it should elevate how everything sounds. This is how everything looks like underneath. So there's legs on each corner that allow the sub to travel without, you know, getting punctured or messed up. So I think this is pretty cool, man. Kicker, I like what you guys are doing. Not sponsored, but if you guys want to sponsor, you know, you can hit me up in the DM. So it essentially just lays like this. You could go ahead and stack stuff on top of it. It's perfect, man. It's the perfect compact system. I haven't heard it yet, but I already know it's going to be good. But yeah, let's go ahead and head over to Extreme, and we'll see you guys there. Quick little embarrassing story. So right there, that building, is ice skating rink so back in high school my ideal date would be i'm gonna take you to eat and then we're gonna go do some ice skating how romantic is that like good one alex good one that's that's so cheesy so corny that's that'd be like the high school typical date bro oh my god what am i doing on ice hey i'm not gonna lie your boy's kind of fire at ice skating but that's besides the point. Anyway, we're about to pull up. If you guys are in the area, you need any sound done, you need some lights done, any electronics for your whips, hit up my uncle's shop, Extreme HID. I'll have his Yelp down below in the description. You can either ask for my uncle John or you can ask for my cousin Andrew, all right? They'll take care of you guys and make sure everything is good. They also got an alignment rack there. You can ask for Barrett. The whole team, the whole team will take care of you, I promise you. So if you're in the area, you wanna support a family business, slide through all right i haven't showed you guys the shop in a while so check out this setup so we have speakers from every single company right here pioneer alpine kenwood and kickers at the end we also have some head units subwoofers some displays keep it frosty and then this is the light wall so if you guys want to see the difference between a 5k hid 6k blah 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 you can see it right there and then we also just stocked up on some wheels, some HREs, and some other brands as well. But I wanted to show you guys the shop car, show you guys the custom work. So if you guys wanna be fancy, we could do the star headliner, LEDs, custom, do underglow, 
and then custom sound system as well. Everything is all custom made. Look at all that. So yeah, if you guys are locals, make sure you drop by. Let me show you guys the fish that we have over here because the fish, the fish are cool. Look at the fish. Hey buddy. Oh look, they're all coming. They're all coming. Hey. Look at this one. Y'all need some rocks in there or something or some plants. I'm gonna buy you guys some plants. So you guys can swim with plants, all right? Ain't no telling what I do when I be talking to my demons Nowadays we making money, stack that shit up to the ceiling All the shit don't take the pain away, still searching for some healing I got money on my mind, the only thing that keeps me breathing I remember all them nights All them nights that I didn't cry The tears are from my eyes Had to put my pride aside I swear I've been on my shit, I did this all with no one else They gon' take me as a joke, but they ain't know the things I felt Find my way to move myself from all this hell Lost so many on my soldiers, I ain't going no farewells Don't forget it, just forget I still remember how they treated me Try to knock me down, I got right up, they ain't do shit to me Had to separate, these bitches fake, don't need that energy They trying to keep me down, I stood my ground cause I had bigger dreams Ain't no telling what I do when I be talking to my demons Nowadays we making money, stack that shit up to the ceiling All the shit don't take the pain away, still searching for some healing I got money on my mind, the only thing that keeps me breathing I remember all them now I didn't cry The tears are from my eyes Had to put my pride aside How you say you understand when you don't know the things I'm feeling All the things I did for you, now tell me did that have a meaning Look at this Damn, I like that blue on there, super nice This is a hella nice Kudos to you, sir. We also got a little Corvette action over here for everybody that loves the Corvettes. Today, we're taking out the GTR since we dropped off the GX. I need to get a haircut right now, so we're taking this baby out and it's a little bit rainy outside, so we'll see how it does. But look, I haven't washed this thing since you guys saw Ivan last wash it, which is months ago, but it still looks super clean. So what I like about covered parking, it's so good. The only thing is the brake dust, but it's not bad. I'm tired of this hair. It just grows so fast. Oh my God. I gotta get a haircut every two weeks, like minimum every two weeks. So here's one last look. And I'm starting to get some gray hairs. Look, there's one right here. Your boy's getting old and it's crazy because I'm like, yo, we're getting old together. I'm gonna be grandpa at SINTB just vlogging for you guys. Feeling of a new cut. Dun, 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 dun. Yo, it's time for a snack. We got some special K right here. Don't judge me, guys. Don't judge me. But I pour my milk before cereal. Psych! I ain't crazy. No, but for real though, um, I like my cereal kind of soggy. Is that is that weird? That's weird. It's laundry time, so your boy's kind of shirtless. But that's besides the point. Let's try this uh, soggy cereal. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Whenever I eat cereal, it brings me back to my childhood. Whenever I'd walk home from school, the first thing I would have to get when I go home cereal. My all time favorite cereal, though, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Comment yours down below. If you eat Raisin Bran, I am sorry, but you gotta go get your taste buds reevaluated, you gotta get them recalibrated. This is, something might be wrong. I'm just looking out for you, but if you like uh, Special K, uh, 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 Cocoa Pebbles, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, ooh. What else is there, what else is there? Come on, help me out, help me out. Captain Crunch, Fruity Pebbles. There's so many good cereals out there. Just, just don't do yourself wrong, man. If you like Raisin Bran, you probably like those cardboard Cheerios. Not the Honey Nut Cheerios, the cardboard ones. I'm kind of judging you right now, to be honest. This is so good though, so. So delicious. And if you wanna get really funky, you get some new ones, right? Throw them in here and then you got the crunch with the soggy. Ooh! Mm, mm, mm. I just got word that the car is done. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna pop up 
with some red envelopes just because I always like tipping the workers, man. The workers make it possible. I think whenever you run a business, it's always important to take care of your workers, take care of your family, everybody that comes together to make this possible. So I'm just gonna show the workers some love. There's a nice tip in there for everybody so everybody can enjoy themselves with it. But yeah, I just wanted to show my appreciation real quick. I've been doing laundry all day. Four loads so far, four loads? I do my laundry twice a week. I don't know how I got through so many clothes in that amount of time. It's honestly insane. Quick update, I just got my car from the shop. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick little test. Now I'm doing this video with the iPhone, so there's probably, I don't know if it's gonna be able to pick up the bass and all that, but I just wanted to show you guys how the system is, how everything looks. So you guys get an idea because I know a lot of people on Instagram, they're asking me, you know, does the system slap hella hard, yada, yada. So I'm going to try to answer all your questions right here and right now to make everything easy for you guys. Oh, my God. This camera is a little bit different than my camera. But yeah, we're going to try to make this work. Let's see how it goes. OK, so this is how everything looks. You guys probably already saw it, but there's a base knob right here. Minimum, maximum and right here in this area if we have anything that is overpowered like i turn this way too high i'm gonna see the orange notify me yo you might blow out your sub so this is just the notification right here essentially what happened was i decided to get a little bit more powerful amp who knows i might upgrade to a different sub setup in the future not in the near future but you know how i usually do it i usually be upgrading my stuff if i feel like i need to get another subwoofer that's a little bit stronger then I will have the capability of just running the same amp versus getting something that's a little bit lower powered and then I have to worry about getting a higher powered one in the future. So I just figured get a little bit higher powered one and just be careful with it. And yeah, it just gives me a little bit more flexibility. So there's not many songs I can use on YouTube to do this test. So I'm gonna use the homie Gabe XO, all right? We'll start off slow. Ain't no They gon' take me as a joke, but they ain't know the things I felt I was just trying to find my way to move myself from all the cell Lost so many on my soldiers, I ain't going See nowhere right else Don't forget it, just forget, I still remember how they treated me Try to knock me down, I got right up, they ain't do shit to me How to separate, these bitches fake, don't need that energy They trying to keep me down, I stood my ground cause I had bigger dreams Ain't no telling what I do when I be talking to my demons Nowadays we making money, set that shit up to the ceiling this is how it sounds like from the outside. I really like this system just because back in the day I used to go a little overboard with everything and this is more practical now that I'm a little bit older. If I did this 10 years ago, trust me, I would have two 12s in the back taking up the entire trunk space. But honestly, I'm more practical now. I'm an adult now. So that's why I like the Kicker TRTP12s just because it doesn't take hella space and there's still a decent amount of knock. Now don't get me wrong, when I had two 12s with a full box and everything, that thing was hitting. It was honestly hard to see through the mirrors because everything would be shaking like crazy. But this one gives a decent amount of power. I mean, I don't want the subs to overpower what I'm listening to. I think this is the perfect sub setup 
for where I'm at right now in life. You know what I mean? If you're younger, you don't care about your trunk space. You don't care about, you know, overpowering your base. Sure, go ahead. Do a crazy subsystem. But if you're trying to be a little bit more chill, you know, enjoy your subs, but not go too crazy. I, again, think that this is the best system you could possibly get for the money, for the size, and for the quality. Kicker always makes some pretty good stuff if you're not trying to break the bank. So I highly recommend it. I don't know what song is playing right now, but hopefully this song is copyright free because the other one I know for sure was, but we'll see. y'all that is going to end the video right here once again i want to give a huge shout out to my family at extreme hid definitely make sure to check out my uncle's shop he's a local out here in san jose and i know he appreciates your guys' business as much as i do so make sure you drop by and support and again i wanted to remind you guys if you want these kickers i'll have a link down below in the description it's an amazon link i do make a little bit of each sale on there so if you guys buy it through my link you're helping me out so I appreciate you guys so much, all right? I'll catch y'all very soon for the next video. I can't wait to show you guys the next vlog series. I think it's gonna be super dope. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys for the next one. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out, peace.